Distinguished professors and scientists, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, First of all, I would like to thank the management of Sabri Ulker Food Research Foundation, and I would like to congratulate them for their achievements. So we are having the third nutrition summit today. This is my second participation here, and during this uh, summit, uh, I feel great happiness for being here and greetings to you all. Of course, as the Minister of Health of the Republic of Turkey, I will be repeating myself because I highlight this fact from time to time. Rather than speaking about health, we speak about diseases. Perhaps uh, our ministry would be called as the Ministry of Diseases, because actually we should be talking about health. But no matter where you will be going, you will be seeing hospitals and medical devices and demands for a higher number of physicians and doctors. But actually, the first part should be stronger. Healthy families, healthy individuals should be the main issue, or a healthy lifestyle should be highlighted and foregrounded in what we do. As the Ministry of Health, we will be focusing on healthy lifestyle and we will be encouraging individuals to obtain a healthy lifestyle in a new project of ours. So what we will be trying to do here is to enable individuals to acquire a notion of a healthy life and implement the strategies in line with that notion. The more it will be part of our culture, the more efficient strategies will be employed in society. Individuals will know more about what healthy life is. So our children, young people and families and parents will be informed about this. And I heartily believe that the remaining part will be taught better. So from that perspective, as the Ministry of Health, we are very much aware of the fact that we should be collaborating with other institutions. The World Health Organization has defined health as a multi-stakeholder concept. Amongst our stakeholders, we have the Ministry of National Education, Ministry of Family and Social Policies, Ministry of Youth and Sports, NGOs and NGO Dynamics. So all together with these stakeholders, we will be disseminating the culture of healthy life in society. And this motto should be internalized by individuals. I respect myself, and if someone respects herself or himself, being healthy should be at the very center of what they do. Based on data and recent survey, well, the Ministry of Health has similar data because when people are asked about what their priorities are for being happy, 85% of individuals reply uh, and tell us that they want to be healthy. So they equate health with being happy. And in order to be healthy, we should provide them with the right information and we should be realizing this dissemination in collaboration with multiple stakeholders. And together with all these stakeholders, we need to have a more scientific approach.
and act together. Hence, especially during this pre-election period, it's very hard to organize such things. I know I have a busy schedule as well, but I came from Germany just to be part of it, and I would like to thank you again for your invitation. Because the more our children will consume healthier foods, our children will be physically and mentally healthier. And during their young years, they need to be obtaining this culture of healthy living. And we have huge responsibilities on our shoulders to realize that dissemination, because this is the only way we can realize a healthy society, and this is the only way for us to take strong steps. So we should be owning these. I was not here during the morning sessions, and I was not able to listen to the presentations, but I have received the slides, so that will be very helpful, and we will be making good use of them all together. So here we are on a platform on which signs and individuals and stakeholders meet, Uyghur Foundation is focusing on the critical aspects of food and nutrition, both for children and for young people and adults. So almost all of us have something to eat in our bags so because such food such food satisfy us and scientific evidence should be there to back up such arguments and this is how we should be planning our future hence it's very uh, important that we have Sabrika Foundation and their scientific research. So I very much hope that this dynamic will be stronger in the future. As far as I have learned from Ali Bey just a moment ago, uh, this will have a much bigger vision and we will be able to give much stronger messages to people. What we want is that uh, people will be able to have a healthy life, but there are huge responsibilities because we have numerous factors at stake. A multifactorial dimension is affecting what we eat and what we do, and we need to assume these kinds of social responsibilities scientific evidence should be at the center. We should be able to draw out scientific maps for our action plans. So this is uh, also for the advantage to the governments, to public institutions like ours. The food industry is indispensable, of course. We have at least uh, two or three meals a day. Sometimes it is five or six meals a day, and those meals, I mean what we eat, should contribute to our health. They should be supportive to our health. So that kind of perception should be internalized by members of society. And we have to achieve many things in this area. People are most uh, afraid of getting ill. This is what the surveys done by WHO and our ministry tell us. But getting ill is, I mean, the main reason for getting ill is, well, if we will be mentioning three uh, reasons, smoking, tobacco comes first, then an unhealthy diet, and the third reason is a lifestyle that lacks physical activity. And all these factors can be controlled by the individual. 
the stronger the individuals will be prepared for this kind of healthy lifestyle and life philosophy, and the more indispensable these will be for individuals. Well, bad habits are bad for our cardiovascular diseases. They are triggering diabetes and other chronic diseases like liver diseases. So if tobacco comes first, then we should eliminate that. Of course, some individuals are addicted to tobacco. We can start with them and we can carry out some strong campaigns. So Turkey has achieved an exemplary campaign when it comes to fighting against smoking. So together with scientific evidence, we should disseminate the right strategies in society so that individuals will be able to acquire proper habits. And thirdly, people should have more physical activities in their lives. So we unroll projects in that area as well. So for uh, 2015, we will have an incentive uh, program for municipalities. So if they will be building bike lanes, the municipalities will be given bicycles for individuals. And this project, these walks, these sports, all these biking activities and swimming activities. So if you will be making these part of people's lives, we will surely find remedies. So using uh, elevators or walking to the next bus stop to lengthen your distance for walking. So if these three main habits will be made part of people's lives, and if we will be realizing our projects in a multi-stakeholder environment and backing up what we do with scientific evidence, we will surely achieve what we want to do. And I heartily believe that uh, uh, Turkey will be realizing uh, many things in that line. So let me thank Sabri Uker Food Research Institute Foundations Management, the steering committee uh, members once again, the late Sabri Ülkeş has really paved the way for us, so we commemorate him with uh, due respect. And I congratulate uh, the scientists who are with us today heartily. And I sincerely believe that they will be contributing to these discussion areas. So uh, thank you to you once again.